Thank you all very much for having me here today. I really appreciate it. I would like for you to know that I do appreciate being here and for you allowing me to share a little bit of my time with you. Um, just so you'll know, I will not get into the technical details of going to Mars, but I will talk about why I do think we should go to Mars. Um, before I do that, though, I do want you to know that when I found out that they wanted me to speak here, I was shocked. I was completely shocked. Now, I know that Mars and Mars One are trending topics right now, but it is still kind of shocking to me, even though I'm one of the final 100 candidates um, to potentially go to Mars, it is still shocking to me that people want to hear my side of the story, that they want, that they want to hear my interpretation of things, that they want to hear things from me. Um, another thing that shocked me was that I was only given 10 minutes to talk about this. <laughs> only 10 minutes. You know, this program, this project is so innovative. It is so incredible. It is so extraordinary. And I have to push all of that into 10 minutes. And I thought, how in the world am I going to do that? And then after I stopped being shocked, I got scared. I realized, oh my god, 10 minutes. How am I going to talk in front of an entire group of people that I do not know about a project that is still developing for 10 minutes? What am I going to say? And then I thought, that is too much time. That's, that's a lifetime. And really, yes, 10 minutes is a lifetime. You know what else is the length of a lifetime? 10 hours. 10 days. 10 weeks. 10 months. 10 years. 20 years, 40 years, 80 years. All of those are lifetimes. And from the moment that we are born, we all each have our own lifetime. Now, the amount of time we have is different for everyone, but it is still the only amount of time we have, just one lifetime. From the moment we are born, our lifetime is set into motion. First, it is impacted, on th impacted by things that try to guide us and protect us, but eventually, we reach our own autonomy. Eventually, we take responsibility for our own actions, for our own choices, for our own lifetime. We become our own person. And from that, from that motion, from just simply existing, that motion will stay with us for our, the entirety of our life. That is the time that we are born until the time that we pass. That's our motion. Not only does being born give us motion, it also gives us presence. And presence is just simply our place in the world and how we interact with the world and how the world interacts with us. It's how we influence and are influenced by the world by our parents, by our friends, by our peers, by our colleagues, by our community. <coughs> Do the world, does the world know that we exist? Do we know we exist? How do people react to us? How does the world react to us? Do people know we're in this room? Do we know we're in this room? How we interact with the world and how the world interacts with us is our presence. Now, today's theme is momentum. And from a scientific definition, momentum is, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is a little dry. <laughs> momentum is our mass as well as our velocity, which is our speed and direction. Now, I'm going to mix those words up just a little bit and change the definitions just a little bit, and I'm going to tell you now that momentum is our presence and our motion. Our presence and our motion. Our being here and the direction that we move in. And that happens to us from the moment we are born. And from that definition, all of us have momentum. All of us are on a path that combines our presence with our motion into this thing called a lifetime, however much time that is. What remains to be seen is what we do with that momentum in the lifetime that we have. Now, a lot of people ask me, should we go to Mars? Is that really a good thing for the human race to do? 
But the truth of the matter is, this is something that the human race has always done. This is something that life has always done. From the very beginning, life has pushed the boundaries and rose to seemingly insurmountable challenges. Thank you very much. <clears throat> we are here today because life kept pushing forward. Life has always wanted to explore. Life has always wanted to go into the unknown. Life has always wanted to be. And as children and representatives of life, life asks us to do the same thing. The only difference now is that life is asking us to do that on another planet. Location, location, location. <clears throat> For me specifically, I want to leave a lasting legacy that I think will benefit the entirety of the human race. Life has given me, over millions and millions of years, my presence and my motion. Life has given me momentum in this thing called a lifetime. I'm here today because life has chosen to create me. And you are here today because life has chosen to create you. And the greatest way that I can show my gratitude for having this life is by making the most of this life and doing the best that I can and by leaving a legacy for the entirety of the human race. OK, I know, yes. I'm from the United States. I think really big, OK? <laughs> I love the human race. And by extension, I love all of you because you're human. I love your presence, and I love your motion. And I honor your momentum by using my momentum to help life use its momentum to continue doing what it has always done. Life has always wanted to explore, to create, to grow, to hope, to thrive, and to surprise us. That's what life is, and that's what life does. That's what your life is, and that's what your life does. That's who we are, and that's what we do. That's who I am, and that's what I do. Going to Mars has a lot of benefits for all of humanity. There are societal benefits. There are technological benefits. There are scientific benefits. And hopefully, there are good political benefits. The Mars One program seeks to bring a variety of people from around the world to bring all of those lifetimes together and to bring all of that momentum together so that we can take life to another planet in our solar system. That's what life does. That's what life has always done. Even in the smallest ways, your presence and your motion feed energy into life so that life can continue to be exactly what life has always done. For me, I want to leave a legacy and honor all the lifetimes that came before me, all the lifetimes that exist now, and all the lifetimes that are coming. Going to Mars is gonna be one of the ways that I can do that. You've all heard people say that necessity is the mother of invention, and that's what life does. As life move forward, moves forward, life creates ways so that we can continue to move forward. A 16-year-old young woman by the name of Elif Bilgin from Turkey found a way to turn plastic, or to create plastic, out of banana peels. Banana peels. And now she can make plastic from that. That's technology that we can use here on Earth, but it's also technology that we can use on Mars. Because on Mars, we're going to be vegetarian, and we're going to have to recycle everything that we have. Plus, we're going to need plastic components to help build the habitat where we're going to live. That's what life always does. As life moves forward, life creates. And as life creates, life moves forward. I have never created or invented anything in my 43-year lifetime. This young woman has created something that has the potential to benefit the entirety of humanity in just her 16-year lifetime. For many of us, Mars might seem like a big step. But if you look at it from the perspective of life, it really is just a small step, and it is also a logical step. Life always reaches beyond the boundaries that we choose to place around it. Life fought to bring us to this day, so we are here today, and life is fighting to take us to tomorrow. What life is asking us is what are we going to do with that, that presence and that motion, that momentum that life has given us, so that we honor life. And life is asking the human race what the human race is going to do to honor the life that has been given to the human race. In my opinion, going to Mars is one of the ways that the entirety of humanity can answer that question. 
That's why we need to go. Because that's what life is asking us to do. Thank you.